Good morning. A beautiful day. And the roses. Those pretty roses. So I've just decided that I'm going to be out today. It's beautiful weather. I don't know why I stay in in the morning. Maybe just have it. But I'm going to be outside on my beautiful patio space. I'm going to meditate here. I'm going to do some back work. I'm going to hang out with Emma. So I'm going to breathe and do some sun salutations as well. I might even bring a yoga mat out here. I'd get a different one, not, not my nice one, because the sand will destroy it. <laughs> but why not do some yoga out here? I mean, this is, this is a pretty nice area. This is a good spot. <laughs> I'm at the vet with the gorgeous little dogs. Look at these little guys, so cute. Yes, I'm talking about you. Yeah. We're getting them some vaccinations. There's the vet. So David's just gone in with the third little puppy, Bimba, and this guy's already done. He's got the black collar, he's the pack leader, so he had to get his vaccination first. <laughs> and this little guy, you're going to be third, aren't you? Yeah, because you are the most timid. That's okay, don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, this is a very easy way to park right next to the vet door and then just take one by one to get the vaccination. Super easy and it's good with two humans, one to hang out with the little puppies, you know, little puppy, and one human to go in and get the vaccination done. So pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a cute puppy. Look at those teeth. Oh, hello teeth. Hello teeth. <laughs> So we've got two down. Last puppy is now in the vet getting his vaccination. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Are you cute? Oh, so cute. I want to call him Kimbap, but I think his name is Kimbo. Kimbo or Kimba? Something like that. <laughs> so cute. This little guy just chilling. Yeah, cool. So we're nearly done with vaccinations and then we're just going to do a bit of shopping at Lidl probably and then head back home. Look, one, two, three puppies, all vaccinated. <laughs> oh, look at that face. So cute. Oh, look at those cute faces. Oh my gosh. I love their coat. It looks like, um, Tigers. Let's see if I can get a better. Look at that coat. I don't know if you can see that properly. This coat is the best. <laughs> yes, your nose is the best too. Oh, look at that coat. I don't know if you can see. There. Yeah, that's that. You know, you can see. It looks like um, <laughs> the coats look like a tiger, like. Indian tigers. You know Indian tigers are kind of smaller because these guys are so tiny. They're like <laughs> Indian tigers. That's a beautiful marble coat. Oh, stunningness. Who's a pretty? Oh, who's a pretty? So I went plum picking at my favorite tree and I made a plum tart, which is going to go into the oven. So this is pretty exciting. Hey Bailey. Hello. Hey kitty bye. Did we make a tart? Did we make a delicious plum tart? Should we go check on it? Let's go have a look. Do 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 do. Plum tart. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It looks perfect. Perfection. Good morning, Bailey. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> and Emma Line. Hello. Emma doesn't cross this threshold. 
at least not when I'm looking. <laughs> no, she's being really good because we made that rule way back when and the rule was basically no crossing this threshold because that's where um, <clears throat> we had the safe space for the cats. So Emma's quite happy to be in the conservatory with the tiles, it's nice and cold. And in the living room, I moved the uh, carpet out of here because the carpet was getting dusty and I like wooden floors. So I think I'm just gonna have it like this for summer. In winter, I'll put the carpet back in. So as I was saying, like I had um, a space for the cats in the kitchen, hallway, bathroom and bedroom. And so the cats could feel safe in that space because Doggo <laughs> stayed in the other half of the house. Um, and that worked out amazing. So basically they'll just relax with each other. Cats will be over there. Emma will be over here. They're basically next to each other, but they both feel safe. Also, Emma always wants belly rubs. That seems very important to her. Belly rub, belly rub. Belly rub. Oh, let's see. So stitches looking really good. Yeah, this dog is just indestructible, indestructible dog, huh? Mm. <laughs> it's a good dogger. It's a good dogger. Oh, such a good dog. Let's go outside. <laughs> Here we are outside. Hey, Smudge. Mm. <laughs> so here's the garden looking really good the peppers are actually pretty happy they're doing a pepper thing <laughs> or bell peppers i should say i don't know which ones are chilies i think this one is a chili hey emma are you gonna have a chili she's stepping on my plants emma are you stepping on my plants yeah retreat retreat very good so this is a chili for sure and this one not sure. Could be bell pepper. Let's see. Smudge having some water, of course. She's got perfectly good water in the house, but no, needs to be outside water. And here's another bell pepper. Very exciting, very exciting. It looks beautiful. And look at the sunflower. Look at this. It's got multiple little heads. So I don't usually, I'm not familiar with ones that have multiple heads, but look, so pretty. Oh, it's got some ants on it. That's okay, still pretty. <laughs> Emma's having her shoe breakfast. And the vines are looking amazing. I love this vine that's crawling up the stem. I really like that actually. And roses, they're coming back. It really is worth deadheading roses because having roses come back every so often is really stunningness. Burst of color. Yeah, definitely worth doing. And hibiscus looking green <laughs> and very small, <laughs> but it started off tiny, so I don't know. Can't expect it to just jump up and be a tree. Cosmos looking amazing. Very fluffy. <laughs> Lettuce looking really good. Tomatoes looking nice. Basil looking nice. I really need to plant this poor little uh, nettle. It, it needs to be on the ground. I just want to be sure where I plant it, but I think I'm just going to plant it with the others. Keep them all together. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll have two different spots. Canna looking great. Lovely. Other tomato, very nice. Yeah, these guys are just shooting up, aren't they? And look at that little pepper there. Hey. Oh, I love little bell peppers. It might also be a little spicy one. I'm not sure. This is okra. Okra is coming along. Basil, opal basil coming along. Very nice. And the spinach looking very good. It's not enough for a meal. So I just basically eat a leaf whenever I walk past it. And then it seems to shoot up a couple more leaves. So <laughs> it's so basically a one leaf a day sort of plant. Which is great, that's fine. And look at this one. Wow, bell peppers, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I think I've just found out that <clears throat> coriander 
is an annual, so I'd have to plant it again from seeds next year. I didn't realize that. Parsley seems to be still be going, but this one just finish. <laughs> finish and seeds. Oh well. Seeds, so there they are. Oh, chili. Wow, chilies are happening. Nice. And there's some more tomatoes. Yeah, looking really good. So the key to all of this is the shade cloth. The shade cloth is helping the plants survive for sure. Worth it 110%. These little plants looking good. Here's a couple more. I think this is a chia, if I remember correctly. I think so. I've got another chia on the other side over there behind Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Hello. Cutie pie. And I've got this little vine popping up in the middle of a sort of pathway, <laughs> unofficial pathway. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to dig that one up, which is a pity. Because this one over here, I'm planning to just trail up directly to the trellis somehow. <laughs> because these guys are freestanding, right? So if they're freestanding, then I feel like this one can also make its way up there and figure its way out from there yeah that's fine but this one's sort of in the path so that's not ideal path is very unofficial but it is a path <laughs> here we go some more plants looking good and i've just stepped on the thorn that's okay Look at this beautiful sunflower. Oh my goodness. Sunflowers. Stunningness. Yeah, it's worth having color in the garden, isn't it? It really does help. So many ways. So many ways. Oh, look at these beautiful flowers. Zucchini flowers. Oh, beautiful. And there's baby zucchinis. Let's see if they do anything. They're still tiny and so I haven't harvested a zucchini as yet. They just seem to happen and then die. That's fine. I'll probably harvest this one later. I think, oh, come on. So I think this is supposed to be a mini one and I've let it become slightly medium. And there's strawberries over there. Beautiful strawberries. Over there, a couple more strawberries. Lovely. That's also like, just eat one a day whenever you pass by the garden. And look at those tomatoes, very beautiful. Oh, stunning. I don't know what this flower is, it just showed up. It's like, <laughs> you need more flowers in your veggie bed. It's a beautiful one though. Lovely. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. The button should be there, there, somewhere over here.